What's up, YouTube? Tokens here, back again with another reaction video, this time to a sous vide anything video. Great channel. Support the channels that you love. Throw them a f I'll have the link down in the description. Go ahead, give them a thumbs up, go watch it. Supo go show them support as well. I appreciate you guys coming here, and uh, just so you know, in case you haven't heard or you're new to the channel, I do these reactions live every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And we upload them to YouTube so you guys can watch them later. And you don't have to suffer through a three-hour stream looking for them, even though they're at the beginning of the streams. But anyway. With all of that said... So, they're going to try this better thing that's supposedly better than MSG. I'm curious to see what this is going to... what this is. And, uh, I hope... I hope you guys enjoy it. And, Guga, if you're watching, because this is another Guga Foods channel, I appreciate your work, brother. Keep doing what you do. And, uh, I hope you guys all enjoy this. I hope you have a great day, and uh, if you're watching this in late October, hello, I hope you're enjoying NFL season. I hope, I hope your team is doing well, unless you're, you're a Raiders fan or an LA Rams fan. In which case, I hope, you're, I hope your team goes 0-16. That being said... We're going to get into this video here in a couple seconds, and uh, I, I I hope you enjoy doing these. If you have, if you guys have any suggestions for videos, just put the, ti the title of the video in the description box. I will look at them. I will look them up. Apparently, YouTube doesn't like it when you put the titles, when you put actual links in the description. I don't know why I said titles. But, uh, yeah. And also, thumbs this video up while you're here. And be because 70% of you have not hit that subscribe button, that hurts my soul. So, uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to. Th turn on that bell so, you notify when so you're notified whenever I put up a short or one of these videos, or when I hit the go live button on my streams, because I do co-stream over here on the YouTubes and on Kick as well. Kick.com slash first player tokens. I am not monetized on either platform as of the upload of this video. So if you want to support me monetarily, which you do not have to do, but it would be appreciated, um, there's a bunch of ways you can do that over at firstplayertokens.live. We got merchandise. Uh, I have an Amazon wish list over there. There's a direct donation thing set up. You know the whole deal. Anyway, we're going to get into this video now. I've been yapping long enough. But before, and before I get into this, I do want to remind you guys, I will be pausing this a lot. So if that bothers you, sorry, not sorry. There's a thing called fair use, and I have to do that to make sure these videos fall within fair use. So, here we go. The most popular and used ingredient in Peruvian food. Now, there's several different ways to use this. You have the fresh pepper itself. They also have it dry, of course, in a paste format, and also as a seasoning. Now, I was told by okay. you that this is the MSG of Peru, and today we're going to put it to the test with some steak. Peru MSG. I don't know what type of pe uh, pepper that is. I hope it's not hot, because I, your boy can't handle a ton of heat. Just saying. As everything starts off with these, the star of today's show. There are three beautiful ribeye steaks, one and a half inches thick, and just exactly what you're looking for whenever you buy steaks. Now to season them, I kept it real simple. I went with a good amount of salt, followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Since one of the steak is going to be the control, the very next one, I used the powder seasoning. I added a good amount. We want to feel this flavor and really see if it's going to enhance the steak or not. The very next steak, instead of using the seasoning, I went with the paste. I just made sure to 
slather the whole steak with it. Let's just say the more, the better. Once all of the steaks were done, the next thing to do was to go ahead, back them up, vacuum. Before we, can, before we continue, I need to go back a couple seconds, so bear with me. Folks and people in my chat, because I, um, which which of these would you like? Which do you think is going to turn out better? The, this one, this one, or this one? I don't know, to be honest. I have a feeling they're going to be good because I don't think Google makes bad food. All of them in the same container at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. That is perfect because it allows me time to go ahead and make an awesome side dish. And I'll tell you one thing. This one definitely has some Peruvian flair. Because everything starts off with this. It's a turbot fish. And its skin reminds me of Godzilla. What in the cinnamon toast fuck is this? Never seen this fish, and that that skin is like nightmare fuel. Well, hopefully, it's gonna taste a lot better than it looks. Because the first thing to do is to go ahead and clean it out. We're looking for the meat only. We don't need the skin. Once everything was nice and cleaned, our meat is now ready. The next thing to prepare is a wonderful sauce. And this one is super simple because everything goes into the blender. I first started with some onions, followed by ahi amarillo, cilantro, ichimi tagorashi, ginger, celery, lime juice, soy sauce, and one whole egg. Now blend everything together, and my sauce is done. It does not get any easier than that. Now for the fish, I first throw everything into a bowl. Then I season it with salt, black pepper, ginger, garlic, MSG, and mixed everything well. As the next thing to do is to go ahead and add a good amount of lemon juice. To finish it up, I added a good amount of cilantro, followed by red onions. Mixed everything well once again, and set it aside. For the best... Yeah, I... I that, if I didn't see what that fish looked like, in its, you know, pre-prepared -pre form... I don't know if I probably would like this, but seeing the fish in its uh, non-broken-down form, I that kind of weirded me out. Butter, it's pretty straightforward. I started with all-purpose flour, followed by water. Mixed everything well, as now is where the magic happens. The first thing to do is to squeeze the fish into a ball, but squeezing the juices out as much as possible will help it stick together. As the next thing to do is to go ahead and throw it in the batter, as now it's ready to go into the fryer. Remember that the fish is fully cooked already, so I'm deep frying it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's slightly golden brown, it's time to take it off. To plate it up is pretty simple. First, a little bit of that sauce we just made, followed by our deep fried ball ceviche, a good amount of that wonderful sauce, and to finish it up, some finely sliced red onions, followed by a little bit of microgreens to be fancy. Now this is today's side dish. I really hope that the- What do you think on the side dish rankings, chat? And people in the comments, give us your side dish ranking for Google stuff down below. I mean, this looks really good, and it probably is really good, to be fair. I've never really had ceviche, so I don't know how good or bad it is. It'll be interesting to try one time. Guys, enjoy it. Hopefully, we can all say the same exact thing about today's experiment, because by now, my steaks were fully yeah, it, Yeah, it looks interesting, Spirit. But did, did you see the prepared fish? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let me actually go back and show you. This is what the fish is. This right here is what the fish is. It's some sort of Peruvian fish. Yeah. That's nightmare fuel. Alright, we're gonna go back to the, uh... We're gonna go back to the steak. He's, he's using Peruvian peppers to, like, sous vide these things. 
about today's experiment because by now my steaks were fully cooked so i went ahead removed them from the bag let them dry real good and once i did i know exactly what you're thinking my steaks don't look that good right now but why but watch this and here comes the home depot commercial music that we love so much with Google's stuff watch this And those are deep fried baits. What he did is he uh, marinate, took the the meat off the fish and and uh, marinated it like ceviche. Then put squeezed water out, deep fry, put them into a ball, deep fried them, put a sauce and and pickled onion on top of it. In the uh, Google Foods side dish rankings. Looks, this is I, I give this high marks. I give this probably a, a seven. I haven't eaten it, obviously, so I don't know how it tastes. But judging on what we have to judge it on, I get I give it a seven. All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful steak. My two taste. The question is, what will these guys think of it? We've got the uh, the description guy, and I don't know I don't I don't know who this dude over here is, but he, I, I think he knows he's gonna have some good food. These testers, are you guys hungry? Always, baby. If we're here and we're suited up, you already know we're hungry. Here's the deal: <laughs> we have some beautiful steaks. A little bit of an experiment today. I also have an incredible side dish here, which is ceviche. Oh. Enough talking, let's give this a go, all right? Well, we're gonna start in this direction. Please dig in, gentlemen. I feel like whenever I'm here, Guga, you always start as far away from me as possible. The farther the better, no, Leo? Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. Wow, it does not get old, Papa. That's a sous vide steak. Mm. I think that that has to be a, like a higher grade type of steak because it feels a little bit fattier, still has that nice beefy flavor, perfectly seasoned. I can't say- I'm not gonna lie, Guga's control steaks, always look good to me they always make you hungry even if you're full <laughs> say anything else guys that's a perfect steak right there can you guys tell which steak this is that's the control that's a google steak right there baby all right let's dig in for the second one looking a little funky right here. okay the paste he's going for the paste i have no clue what this uh what this pepper tastes like i have no clue how Spicy or non-spicy it is, but uh, we'll find out. It's funky, because why? Because it's yellow. I wonder why. <laughs> Enough talking, let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Wait, hold on. There's a lot more flavor there. It's got a little kick to it. Yeah, very little, though. You can tell it's there. It's not punching in the face, but it's saying hello. I will say that I just like this. It feels really tender. It also tastes a bit peppery as well, so I'm not sure what's going on here, but I like where this is going. I thought it was going to be more spicy, to be honest with you. It's just a nice, wonderful flavor. Yellow and spicy. What are we doing? I can see your brain working extra <laughs> hard, Leo. I don't know what yellow... Yeah, do you, do you think Leo will figure it out, folks? Sound off right now in the description. Well, it's spicy, but it tastes good. Did right. you enjoy it more than the control steak? I would have to see where the third one ranks and then give you my final ranking at the end. With all that being said, ceviche time. Yes. It's fried. It's like a ceviche ball. And you guys have no idea what kind of fish we actually used for this. Enough talking. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. No, Guga, we, we viewers know you used the nightmare fuel fish. <laughs> that's so interesting wow that's money dude super unique twist on ceviche that i've never had before a little bit of crunch on the ceviche it has a nice tempura flavor that little light freshness from the veggies the fish itself this is really really good ceviche how do you guys like the sauce because i'm in love with it the fish is already fresh but then the sauce adds that little bit to it that it's missing with the onions and the greens i will say this there's only one problem making the ceviche make sure you make enough everybody oh. with all that being said i'm excited to go for the last one are you guys ready can i reach Ooh. does it smell different i mean i'd give it a try but i've never really had ceviche 
This last one's gonna be interesting, I think. Oh yeah, mm. it smells very different. Can't tell what it is, but because it's just seasoned with the pepper. This smells good. Enough talking. Let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. I have found the winner. No, you found the winner, Duque. Mm-hmm. That kind of spiciness got kicked up a little bit. Not spicy like it's hot. <sighs> It's more like spices in general. I do feel a little bit more almost like pepperiness, a little smokiness. I think it's beautiful with this steak. It still doesn't overpower the beef flavor, which is always the most important thing. Is it more spicy? I wouldn't say it's more spicy. I would agree with what Leo said. It has that pe Hold on one second. Does this guy have a Major League Baseball League logo tattoo? That's... That's... That's kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. I'd never get a tattoo myself because I don't like needles, but... That's an interesting one. What Leo said, it has that peppery taste to it. If I had to choose a winner, it would be with this last steak. Absolutely. I am with you guys as well. Give me a pound here because we are, this is completely unanimous. So I use the MSG from Peru, which is called Aji Amarillo. This one is kind of like in a paste form. And then this one here is in the powder form. So in a powder form, we can feel it a lot more. But the true winner is going to be that side dish. Oh, you still have more. Can I have some? No. Honestly, honestly, it all looked good. And uh, give me your thoughts down below in the comments. And uh, if you're watching this on the YouTube video itself, happy Halloween in a few days. And uh, hope your NFL, hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. And just, the link to this video will be down below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.